Hello, hi, I'm Patricia McNeely. I'm an Illumined Blu-ray Twin Flame from Chicago, Illinois. I hope you're doing really good. And I know that some of this is getting very confusing, very overwhelming. I hope to bring some clarity with to you and let you know that how I do things is through the body, through the brand new body and the body templates, your twin flame body. So the topic here is new way of relationship and level up. A lot of people know there's a new level and you're actually in it. I will say you're in it to win it, but there's also, there's not really a waiting until next year or something like that. So you're going to start feeling things now. I'd like to share with you a part of my class, recent class that I did because I felt it was very encouraging for the people there and I just want to share it with you. So let me do that now. This level that we're going into, believe it or not, it's intended to feel a little bit like what I call the energy of Christmas in the sense of like, you've been wishing, you've been hoping, some of your hopes and dreams, you're going to start to sense them on the horizon. You're going to start to sense like what's coming up. It'll start to feel like things are possible or that there's breakthroughs. Now next week, there's going to be a high level of emotions. Mind your own P's and Q's, but also cut, cut other people some slack because everyone's going to be feeling it. And I've been seeing this happen left and right all around me. Like these high, like a high emotion starts, could it become an argument? And then it just sort of dissipates. Okay. Allow it to dissipate. The thing you want to catch for is when your mind says things like, wait a minute, I should say something, or are they being this way? I think I need to defend myself. Don't even bother. Okay, like talk your own self out of it. Just say, move along, move along, move along. There's nothing to see here. The force of love will take care of it, okay? Um, some of the things that you... Uh, known you're capable of, and that is actually a topic of this whole thing here, is I guess I want to pose a question which is really important for you to consider, but to consider it as a twin flame because it's going to be different for everyone. And the question is, is how do you define success? Okay. How do you define success? For some people, defining success means they can get through a night without wetting the bed. For some people, it, it's defined as I was able to walk to the bathroom and not have, you know, my back, my hips, my feet totally hurt and get back in and go back to sleep. For some people, it's winning a 5K run. For other people, it's buying their first house and that they were able to do some of these things. So your capabilities and your abilities are going to open. But here's the kicker for twin flame people. You're, you're aligning things together. So that's what makes things weird um, for us. It's not that it's weird. There's a lot of pauses. I've been talking about throughout this series, this three part of sometimes you have to pause because you're either recuperating, right? There's recuperation time, or there is times where there's this gathering in of like, what's your next move? Okay. We are angels. We are human angels. And angels actually require movement. Okay. This is why routines get very tedious for it. This is why Certain things just will feel heavy and tedious and boring and blah and on and on and on. And it could be anything. It could be hearing the same old stories. It could be hearing someone complain about the same thing where you're just like, I'm busting out of the gear. Go ahead and complain. Talk to the hand. I'm out. It could be things of your own life. Like um, when we try to do everything perfectly, like a said little fourth dimensional, good little doobie. Sorry, but we're beyond that. We are beings that are so capable and aware of things, okay? 
the thing that is being gotten rid of is the heaviness and the dirt and the things of the past. That is what is being gotten rid of. Not the things you like, not the things you love. So I'm going to talk about that in this presentation because that is very important for you. And it could be something as simple as I, I get great peace from weeding the garden, of just picking a few weeds. And that's peaceful for someone. For another person, it's a tedious, boring chore. Okay. It's going to boil down to the individual that you are, the unique, multifaceted, sparkling personality that you are. Okay, so that's, you know, my cue today was the song which a lot of Christian people hear around Christmas time. The hopes and dreams of all the years are, are something like blessed in you tonight. Okay, and they're in you. They're in you. Okay, so don't, don't give it up. It's a tiny thing for sure. The other cue is sort of like just you know, feel yourself, be yourself. That is the number one thing when I talk to people. Some people don't know themselves and they're getting back in touch with themselves for various reasons. It could be because they are a parent, like a mom or a dad. It could be because they have a profession that tends a lot to other people. They take care of other people's needs. And that's a lot of A-type personalities, what people would call like an alpha personality. They're like having a big vision and, you know, they might have some things that they do, but they don't pay attention really to themselves, to the core of themselves, really who they are, who have they become, what do they miss? Because I guarantee you something else in this energy is going to come a closure from several timelines. So just on a personal level, and this is for a friend too, we realized we were closing up some stuff from 30 years ago. We came into our awareness again. It was like when we were teenage, late teens, early 20s. And we were like, oh yeah, I kept bumping into people that uh, were from the same neighborhood as me. And we went down this memory lane and they were like, oh yeah, do you remember that you grew from blah, blah, blah. I was like, oh yeah, I went to see with them. We're into ski on ice cubes because um, it wasn't the best ski, but it was the best training because when I really got out to a mountain to ski, I was like, did all these memories flood back because I was like, yeah, I really enjoyed mountain skiing because I learned it like in a really crappy way and could either fall down or learn it. And, you know, I have another friend who sent me a video. He was like, Remember when you were young and you didn't wear a helmet and riding your bike and we learned and we were tough, okay? That's what you're in right now. All of your toughness, all of the things that might have been a struggle but you got through because what we do is we resurrect ourselves. We resurrect, we reinvent. That's the beings we are. And it's even more so because now You'll see opportunity, not with your eyes, but with your heart, because the, the more you expand your light body, that's where it comes into where it just lights you up. What others see as a problem or an issue, you're suddenly like, but this is but what I've been waiting to just mm, sink my teeth into and like, God, there's the opportunity. Okay, now help me piece it together, because that's what you say to your higher self. How we piece this thing together? Like, how is it going to be for people? How really is it, you know, like, I know there's details, but it felt the food, okay? It could be anything. It could be anything. It could have to do with children. Um, it could have to do, and we're going to talk about this in here. Okay, so I'm jumping ahead a little bit. Like, I will give you one example. I was on vacation. Uh, with my son, and it was partly doing some grid work in Mexico, and it was. Hi, I'm back. We plug in here. So I'm back. So this gives, this gives you a little idea of some of the things that are the topics of my most recent class, how we're leveling up, 
how you engage the body because your body has a lot that you're still going to open, expand, explore. And it's a part of you that connects you to love and to your true love. So in this energy, a lot of people are feeling, and I want to, you know, sort of say, have you had enough? Have you found that things are, you've done it sufficiently or you're up to here with something? Only you can really determine that. Are things familiar but not bringing you home? Are, do you find you're repeating patterns? That's important. Are you, are you not, you know, this is all important stuff to pay attention to about yourself. Are you exhausted? Are you fatigued? Well, your soul doesn't want you to be anymore. And you may find that along with it, you feel this vague level of depression, um, frustration, as though you can't do anything right. It's really odd because it's a paradox with how some of this energy is going to clear things away from you that just do not serve you. Where the memories that come up from 30 years ago or the experiences can start lining up for you and being a part of that happiness happy, happy, joy, joy that you have had in the past. Because we've all had joyous times in our life. We've had many times when we actually feel that, you know, what are we starting off with? What's wrong with the day? Okay. And that's when you have to say, have you had enough? Only you can determine that. And let's put it this way. If this is you, you pop in the court so that everything can empty out. And some of you are being popped or triggered or overwhelmed so that you can determine which way you want to steer things. What do you need in your life? So in order to help you with that, I have several things coming up. I have live classes. I will be at North Shore Healing on a regular basis. My first evening class coming up is August 30th. It's August 30th. September 13th and September 27th. Those are um, small segments. Come, join, learn. What are some of the things we're going to talk about? Well, what would you like to learn from this subject? I will be teaching, but I'll be listening too. And I want to hear your questions. How can this help your personal relationships? Because of course, you're expecting to live with your true love. You're with your true love. A lot of this is not a relationship. You relate to everything else through the template. Your template of relationship is the new way of relationship. And it is a level up. You're up leveling, however you want to say it. The new level, up leveling. Some people call it the new paradigm. It's not a paradigm. But yeah, you're sensing it. You're leveling up. It's new. It's like having a blank canvas and you're saying, what do I want to fill it in with? Okay. The two of you are lining that up together. You're coordinating it. Have you been through a bad breakup? Okay. Have you? Again, your soul doesn't want anymore. Your soul doesn't want that kind of pain ever again. You'll feel pain. You're built to register pain and everyone's pain threshold is different. But pain isn't intended to be something that lingers in you. That's the key. How do you get it shifted? I, this is my specialty, my niche, my own way of doing it from a high level, really a high level. Do you want to learn how to break the cycles of relationship? So start with one of my sessions and my book, my book on inner healing, okay? Expedite and elevate some of the things. Just some of the highlights in this book, okay? Twin Flame Ascension and Inner Healing, it's packed with stuff because the signals and messages and prompts and movement, it's inside you. Sometimes it's already happening. Sometimes you see this in people around you, but pay attention to you. Pay attention. What's happening? Can you feel? Have you been unable to feel? Are there parts of you trying to come alive again for the first time in a really long time? And yes, you deserve it. That's what you're here for. 
your ability to heal by detoxing along with some clearing exercises and releasing. Learn some techniques for daily living. I've helped many people re-enter the workforce to get rid of uh, daily tension and anxiety so that they can be functional, okay? Your love is what makes you thrive and like really be in love. I help you get to that level of high functionality so you can feel the love and let it into the deep places it needs to be to lift you up. You learn, in my book, you also learn about your subtle bodies, your mental and emotional connections, and why some things with other people just simply won't be the same way, how they won't put hooks into you, how do you stop being an empath, okay? How you stop is through the techniques via Twin Flame that is in my book. Differences between the human and the angelic part of you and being in your knowingness and awareness of the light body, which is happening on multiple levels. You're multidimensional. Some of you are having some uh, inklings of it, awareness of it, uh, experiences of it. So what else uh, with the sessions that I do? The spirit subtle body session is to help with addictions within the union, to help with balance, to help alleviate tension, to help with any types of spiritual disease, including things that are connected to um, ego, emotional body, and spirit body, past issues, uh, which includes past lives. It will include more of the day in and day out types of things, things that people find are chronic, but are not really killing them, so to speak, but really do start to be felt. It includes things like bipolar or depression, or even what I call a false depression, melancholy. What about my psyche body session? This is about traumas, abuses, fears, phobias. This is for much deeper stuff. If you've experienced something deep or you sense you are, or you find that it's very challenging to be around people, you have things come up, you know you have a specific phobia, could be anything. I've had phobias in my life. I've had some, uh, what some people might consider silly ones. I don't consider anyone's phobia silly whatsoever. There's no judgment. You bring it, we start shifting it. And it's very simple. There's, there's not mind work at work. There's high guidance, high heart guidance. My classes, I will be uh, welcoming people. This is located in the Northwest side of Chicago. And the information will be in the links below. The information for these are in the description below. So please reach out. I'm here to help. I'm not here to squeeze people. I do like to meet people and find out how to help them. I am what I consider the living bridge between, let's say, the worldly things and the higher level things and getting you to be really high, highly vibrational even more than you may have before. I like to see people in love. I've been very honored to meet so many people and to just hear parts of their story and their courage and their devotion to themselves, to love. Because when one of you does something, makes one step forward, you do that for both of you. Sometimes you eat for two, you sleep for two, and it doesn't always feel that way. But you'll be surprised at how when you do one of these sessions, your higher activations can start lighting up and moving things. Thanks so much. Be sure to educate yourself. I will have this information and thanks so much for watching. Please subscribe. If you're interested in being a practitioner, I will also be um, outlining this as well and reach out to me. You can email me at twinflamesmerge at gmail.com 
or my website, twinflamesmerge.com. Thanks so much. Have a wonderful day. Bye.